Um, so the trailer for Logan, the last movie that uh, I, I almost said completely the wrong actor's name, uh, Hugh Jackman, Wolverine. This is the last time he will be playing Wolverine in a movie. Um, but we've seen the trailer. It's cut pretty well. It, it actually looks a, kind of enticing. Um, I haven't seen an X-Men movie since uh, Days of Future Past. I didn't see The Wolverine. So, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't follow them too, too closely. Um, but the X-Men movie universe after this could be getting a reboot <sighs> we all love reboots right that's 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 what i like to see i like to see reboots uh, yeah you know Said, who who wants new creative content we can, when we can just send the same thing out with new people over and over and over and over again um so apparently uh, hugh jackman's contract as wolverine is going to be up after logan um and apparently uh, Jennifer Lawrence, Michael Fassbender, James McAvoy, who all played uh, Mystique, uh, Magneto, and Professor Xavier, respectively, um, all their contracts are up after X Men Apocalypse. Like they signed on to do three movies, and they've done three movies. So you know, where do we go from here? Like basically, no one is on contract to continue to do x-men movies and this does put fox in a position where they can you know reboot the film franchise honestly i think they messed it up with the last stand and they've been trying this whole time to fix it so devil's advocate here for just a moment in that aspect it could be a good thing because they have messed it up i love i actually do like the x-men movies like i think x-men 2 was one of the best ones that they did um, but it's just so convoluted and so weird the direction that they've taken that in and it's been really frustrating that like we asked for this whole you know uh, for the longest time everyone wanted to see Gambit so we get Gambit and X-Men Origins Wolverine along with the Blob and neither of them were like hardly number one had any screen time gambit uses his throwing cards a total of one time in the movie and then they like give him super strength like no gambit's not strong then not even to mention what they did with the with deadpool's character we don't talk about that <laughs> we don't even acknowledge that that was deadpool that <laughs> was project what what their subject what 10 oh what? no it wasn't 10 wolverine was 10 yeah what whichever um here's what i think should happen as i think anyone would say i think the movie license should go back to marvel i know that's a divisive opinion but i'm gonna just say it loud and proud now no seriously fox just let it die Go out on a high note, because like I said, Logan looks like it's going to be actually pretty good. Um, I think it's kind of... Is it just me, or does it feel a lot like The Last of Us? Old, old man with... Or, you know, an older man who has a daughter figure and... I didn't, like, think about that watching the trailer, but now that you mention it, it does kind of, like, feel the same. They're in the woods. They're trying to survive. It's it's like in a post apocalyptic world. Yeah. Um. Yeah. And and I'm not saying Last of Us is completely original because I know it borrows heavily from this book called The Road, I believe. But still, um, it still felt a lot like that. So. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's going to be the old chipper Roo. We've got. Quicksilver running around and doing funny things kind of movie. It's It seems like it's going to be like really down to earth like Logan has seen some some things in his life. He, yeah. <laughs> Anyone who's been through pretty much any war between 
uh, shoot, what was the first war he was? Was it the Civil War? Uh, I, yeah, I think he was involved in the Civil War. Yeah, like, Civil War to, like, modern day. Anyone who has seen that much blood, like, it makes sense why Wolverine is the person he is. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I think that's going to be good, but, but just, I just don't, I don't want them to start again. If they're going to start again, like, honestly, the only thing that makes sense as a reboot when it comes to Marvel stuff is letting Marvel do it. Like, just, just, just on, I mean, and how cool would that be to have those characters back in the, the stable of Marvel, potential Marvel movies? And have them be interweaved in with the Avengers and everything like that. That would be so cool. And the thing, and they could very easily do it. They could. I mean, right now they they're using the term enhanced. Um, but the thing is, with you know, because they can't use the term mutants. But the you know, Marvel has a lot of heroes that aren't mutants. Um, they're basically saying they're enhanced if they're a superhero, but they're not using the you know comic book term superhero um but it'd be neat to like have like another group of enhanced or empowered people that are actually just mutants i think that would that you could work that in pretty fairly easily not to mention there is a there is that tv show called legion that's gonna involve an x-men character but i mean i honestly don't think that's gonna do well because it's it's not a very well known X X man or mutant or whoever he is. I don't know who he is, and and I think I'm a fairly moderately knowledgeable X Men fan. But that's that's where we go. Uh, you you looking forward to an X Men reboot there, Matt? Um, I mean, chances are it'll probably happen. Because, you know, what what's creativity anymore? So, got to milk the cash cow. Exactly. Just beat the horse until it's you know not even not even dead. Like just beat it until it's dust. And X Men Apocalypse didn't even do well. No, it honestly, in my opinion, wasn't super great either. Yeah. Um, well, I, I didn't even, didn't even see it. Didn't have the interest. <laughs> yeah, my my brother offered to pay for my ticket. He. He, he really likes seeing like superhero movies, mm-hmm. and like, not that there's anything wrong with them, but um, I know I talked about it a lot. Uh, movies have gotten really predictable for me, so it's hard to like actually like have the want to go to a movie theater and like watch a movie that I don't. I can't just look at it and be like, okay, so like one of these options is gonna happen because they just are. They and, ca- they write they tend do tend to write themselves into a corner. Yeah, and you know sometimes it's not a bad thing. It's like sometimes it's like okay, well yeah, it's like half the time you're expecting that. So, you know sometimes it's not bad, but when it's like superhero movies, it's like oh my gosh, is this gonna happen? Yeah, okay, is this gonna happen next? Cool. Why did I spend you know twelve dollars so that I could tell myself a story? Basically, is how I see it. Um, yeah, I I don't know. It could be cool to redo it over again honestly the most confusing thing for me is that like the x-men the the third x-men movie like xavier dies he like but there was that she just gets a blit he gets obliterated by the phoenix and like clearly like i think in the beginning of the movie some part they were talking about like sometimes like people can be like reborn if they're like smart enough or something i can't remember it's been such a long time since i've seen that movie but they basically make it to where like like you see Xavier die and like Xavier just died. Yeah. And like they... one of the coolest guys in the whole like X-Men thing just died. And you're like, okay, well it's going to happen. But then you think about that and you're like, Oh, and then at the end of the movie, it's like, they're in a hospital and it's like, okay, that's Xavier. But they didn't really specify what yeah, happened to that him never, that, point. that never like panned out into anything. Yeah, and no one like brings it up. Like he's, he's perfectly fine. in uh, days of future past, and in this, in the Logan movie, he looks the exact same. So it's like, I thought they were going to have him, like, transferred to, like, I thought maybe, like, the younger character who's currently playing. Oh, James McAvoy. I thought he was going to be the new version of Xavier huh. when I first saw him. 
And then it was like, oh no, it's like a past thing. Like before X Men was a thing. That's who, that's Xavier. Mm -hmm. But in my head, I was thinking it was like, okay, Xavier's gonna like take the body of like a younger person so that like he can actually be, you know, a person in the movies again. But it's like no. And then it's like they show him in like other movies where it's like, okay, clearly like the previous things happen because uh, I I forgot her name. Like I can only think of her as the Phoenix. Oh, Jean Grey. Yeah, Jean Grey. Like she's dead. They don't she, like you don't see her ever again. Right. And uh, Cyclops either. But it's like they have like other superheroes that they that you've seen like uh, Cat. She's still in there. Uh, uh, Bobby. He's in the the guy with the ice powers. He's there. So it's not like it's like a different like universe of the X Men. It's like the same universe, but it's just like. Where, where are you telling this from? Like, where is this? Why is Xavier there? Like, that's how I think of it, and I think it's stupid that they're just, like, not even going to explain what happened there. Yeah. So, I don't know. I don't know. X-Men is such a weird, tangled-up franchise right now that, honestly, yeah. I think a reboot, if they were going to do it, uh, yeah, it should be done by Marvel because chances are they won't, like, mess it up yeah and marvel has this this uh continuity going for eight years now with their stuff whether it be movies or tv shows on network tv or netflix series um so it's it's kind of yeah it's kind of crazy that fox is like we're gonna we're gonna do a reboot and after logan and <laughs> no you're not <laughs> well I mean, yeah, I don't, I just, I just want it to be part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and I, I think you'll make everyone happy by doing that. Yeah. Um, I think it'll be really hard to, like... It's such a huge part of Marvel, too. Yeah. Yeah. I think it'll, like, honestly, it's going to be really weird trying to find someone else. Like, if they do end up rebooting it, it's going to be really weird to find someone who's going to play, like, Wolverine. Yeah. Because Hugh Jackman's been Wolverine for, like six it's been 16 or 17 years he's been yeah, wolverine yeah. it's it's been like that's like that's what started his acting career yeah it's like you think like wolverine and like just like you just like name characters like uh, honestly i forget like every other actor's name like i know that uh the guy who plays xavier he's been in like a few other things and i know uh magneto as gandalf Magneto's Gandalf. <laughs> I'm sorry. I saw Lord of the Rings before I saw X Men, so he's like he's Gandalf to me. Yeah. Um. But yeah, just like iconic, like they're not the greatest movies, but like they've been around for such a long time that it's gonna be really hard finding like new people to play as them. Yeah, and I want to say the f first one I think came out like even before the year 2000. I mean, it's it's been it's been going on for a long time. So. I'm I'm okay with them ending it with Logan, but I I I'm not okay with them doing another Fox run. You know, Fox run of the of the movie series. Just let the, let that franchise go, be what it was, sell it back to Marvel. I'm sure they'd be happy to have it back. Yeah. 